Welcome back to RG Geek. Today I'm looking at this uh, dock that I've been using with the Odin. It's made for the N Switch, whatever brand that is. Um, it's a portable TV dock. It says here on the side uh, HD 1080p, charging while playing, USB 3.0, one key switch, and cooling structure. That one key switch doesn't work for Odin, but it's a uh, but if you do have a switch and you want a dock to have for your Odin and your switch, I've been using this for a couple days while I'm here on vacation in New Jersey, and it's been suiting me pretty well. At the beginning, it, I had some trouble, but we think it's because of a, an HDMI cable. It wasn't quite um, what we hoped it would be. So let's just see so it comes down here. You just drop this like this. Well, I'm just showing you how it works. Normally, just just stick the Odin in right there. And normally it goes in pretty easy, not always so easy. There it goes. And then it would just sit there and um, send your video out and take power while you play. It's really convenient. So here on this side, you've got your HDMI port, USB 3.0 port, and your USB-C for charging. And on this side, you've got two more USB ports. I know they're not labeled. They're not blue, so I'm guessing they're not USB 3.0, but... I haven't tested that out yet. Um, yeah, and this is a much cooler for a Nintendo Switch than a Nintendo Switch dock because it doesn't cover the whole screen like a Switch dock will. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this feels this mechanism feels kind of cheap. You can hear, hear the springs there. It doesn't feel high quality, but it works, which is the most important thing. Oh, and then you have your your fun Chinese manual with the. Uh, uh, interesting translations to say the least but uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with it and now I'll show you how it works in my apartment in Berlin so now I want to show docking the Yoden and we look up to the TV we can see there's the game right there all right so I'm going to show you quickly here, playing on the TV. And I still got my Pro 2 controller hooked up. So you can see here, let's go down here. And here I'm playing GeForce Now on my TV with uh, my Odin docked. So as you can see, I'm back in Berlin. I've had the dock for a few months now. I've been pretty happy with it. I had an issue with another HDMI cable here, so if video out isn't working, find a more modern HDMI cable and you should be good to go. I actually don't use it that much at home though, because of my TV, I generally prefer to play modern games on my Xbox Series S and retro games on my MOLEC box. While at home the aspect I've liked most is just having a designated place to charge my Odin. Obviously the tiny form factor is also amazing for travel, whether to a friend's house across town or all the way across the globe. If you found this useful, it would mean a lot to me if you could support me on Patreon, so I can buy more products like this to review. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. And I'll see you next time at RG Geek. Whoa.